Neither am I really been out for blood this week because they've been dropping things left, right and center and I simply cannot keep up. We had the character reveals on Tuesday at Gamescom, something I won't be watching ever again because waiting two hours for a trailer is ridiculous. And then out of nowhere we got a snippet of the story mode as well as the new single player mode called Invasions. But today I'll mainly focus on the story elements because there's a few things I want to talk about. So quick spoiler warning if you haven't seen the trailers. So in the character reveal Sundal and General Shah was revealed as well as two cameo characters to Jingle from Mortal Kombat Deception and Motaro. And in this trailer we find out that the Mortal Kombat tournament in this timeline was founded by Liu Kang and Sundal's late husband King Gerald, which is a departure from the previous timeline because originally the tournament was founded by the Shaolin monks but was later retconned to be a tournament founded by the Elder Gods to prevent the merging of realms. Now if this is the case then I can see why Liu Kang asked the Great Kang Lao to be his champion in the Mortal Kombat 11 ending, considering the fact that it might have been the very first tournament and I doubt we'll ever explore that in the new game. Another interesting point is that in the trailer when Shao and Sundal had a discussion, she pointed out something about Shao's father and this is someone we do not know at all, which made me wonder why would Netherrealm include this? Might there be a possibility that his father might be Onaga? I mean in the new design for Shao he literally has has horns that are very similar to Onaga's. I'm not 100% sure about this, so for now, this is just a speculation. Quick side note as I'm editing this video, it's confirmed that this stage is Sang Sung's lab and there's a specific seat that looks very similar that was in the trailer where Melina was transforming into the, the cotton that she was becoming. So I'm assuming that um, Melina and everybody when they go seek help by someone they did not know was Shang Tsung, he might have been in disguise and that did not help at all and so she fully transformed into the, the cotton that she was meant to be. Now onto the story mode gameplay, why the hell is this bitch back? I was literally thrown off by her appearing out of nowhere and she was presumed dead and erased from existence wasn't she? Anyway, at least she looks much better than her previous design because all she gave was dry ass lips. Now her inclusion in the prologue has led me to believe that she might be one of the characters included in the main roster or we get to unlock her after completing the story mode because I don't think that the development team made a new design for no reason. Speaking of prologue, here we have Shang Tsung disguised as an old salesman in Outworld trying to sell some fake potions or whatever, but gets caught after his previous dissatisfied customer confronts him. Later at night during a thunderstorm, Kronika makes a visit to Shang and informs him that he is meant for greater things, but some people have conspired against him before he was even born, and that she can help. And given the dire state that Shang Tsung is in, he's easily convinced and so his evil arc begins. We then head to Earth Realm where Raiden and Kang Lao are busy harvesting on a farm but Kang Lao yearns for more other than farming for the rest of his life. On the other end Raiden seems chilled and doesn't mind the simple farm life. Anyway they then both head for dinner at Madame Bo's, a restaurant that some speculated is owned by this old lady that could be Baraitra's wife. We'll see if that is true but so far the Mortal Kombat community finds her very likable and favorable myself included. Well after this dinner she's confronted by the Lin Kuei who holds a ransom for protection money and a fight breaks out where Kang Lao and Raiden then defends Madame Bo after she was brutally beaten and thrown off a balcony by smoke. Now I'm not a huge smoke fan but his actions put him in my bad books because you simply do not do that to an old lady. Anyway that is all we got to see and now I can't wait to play the story for myself. Uh, September 19th is very far away while well, a few weeks away and i'm getting impatient but yeah that concludes this week's video thank you for watching also which version of Mortal Kombat are you guys planning on getting because well, i was initially gonna get the premium edition but i didn't really care that much about the first combat pack that and the game is already expensive so i made a u-turn and plan on getting the standard edition but leave a comment below and if you have any other discussion by all means feel free to do so